Ah, so we have um, the nonsense this week, and I, 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 I really don't like to hype some of these stories because I don't know how they're going to play out live. But this last story this week, though, if you don't, if you haven't seen this story yet, and you're seeing it here for the first time, I guarantee you, your your jaw is going to drop when you see. I this try shit. to go in cold. Like I know people link me to the stories on Twitter too, and I almost never click on them because mm. I try to go in cold. I don't like to go into a hearse, despite what some dude I went on an OK Cupid with, date with told me on our first date that I'm not funny enough and I should prepare in advance. That's yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was a dick. All right, let's get the uh, the intro. What are you doing out there, Loki? Party. <laughs> Sarah, Loki's trapped in the bathroom again. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, he, oh, he had. I got a, I got a sleepy Simba over there. Apparently, what was I snoozing away in his dog bed? I thought he was trapped in the bathroom. He does that sometimes, but he was not. He was just playing with his, with his bone. Oh, silly pup. All right. We had friends over, and we had to buy a new shower curtain liner because we realized we don't use that shower. It's a guest bathroom. But I was cleaning it to get ready for people, I, and we realized that Peggy is shredded. The intro's going. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't hear it each so. week. Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of global stuff, bring back here for a little segment. We like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? Loki, really? He look banging his bone into the wall. Like, really? <laughs> fuck you, bone! He's, he's like trying to sneak up on him. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> I love it when they try to sneak up on their toys. Dottie will, like, hide her toys from herself and then try to, like, sneak up on them. And it's the funniest thing ever. Oh, all right. Well, first off this week, this is... This... This is one of those, you know what? I understand sometimes you just have to let a project go because it's not going to work out quite the way you thought it would. I, I don't really think that applies to crime. So, um, a secret tunnel leads toward a bank. Yeah. Who put it there? <laughs> what the, what? At first, it looked like a, just a big pothole. Then police realized it opened to a tunnel and that tunnel led toward a bank. Public works problem caused turn into a bank caper Wednesday as FBI agents swarmed a street in Pembroke Pines where people dug beneath a road near a Chase Bank branch. Who targeted the band bank remains a mystery. Um, FBI didn't know where the diggers started the tunnel or when they last work, were working underground. Recent heavy rains may have uncovered the attempted bank burglary in the form of the 150-foot tunnel dug from woods beneath a two-lane road and going straight toward the Chase Bank branch. The tunnel was re revealed Tuesday night when the public works employees were called to a possible sinkhole in a road. Crew noticed something unusual inside the, the hole, an orange power cord that stretched south towards some dense foliage and trees. That usually, usually those don't grow out of sinkholes. Uh, in addition to the tunnel entrance in the woods, they found a gas power generator, a winch, and a wagon used to haul dirt and rocks. Um, people were using pickaxes and a small wagon. Uh, thankfully, no one turned up dead, and the diggers didn't reach the bank, so no money was stolen. So, they just sort of, kind of like, you know what, we're gonna... Nah, fuck it. This is... I keep thinking of... Fuck it. Do you remember on Fraggle Rock, the little people that lived under Fraggle Rock? The Doozers? Yes. Yes. Whose, like, whole thing was, I don't remember, because I didn't have HBO as a kid. But didn't they, like, tunnel under Fraggle Rock no. or something? No, they, oh. they built all these things, and they built all these structures in Fraggle Rock that were edible, so the Fraggles could eat them. Oh, that's horrible. No, they wanted the Fraggles to eat them so they could build more. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought the Fraggles were, like, eating their houses or something. No, no, no. They like building all the stuff, and then the, the, the Fraggles would eat them so that it cleared room so they could build more stuff. Okay, so it was, like, symbiotic. Yeah. 
is and it has nothing to do with this. So no, it does nothing to do with it. <laughs> I thought they like tunneled or something. No, they did not. So never mind. <laughs> we'll just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Hey, I fucked Shut up. up. <laughs> you didn't even have electricity as a kid. <laughs> Back in the fucking Stone Age. Ah. Uh, so yeah, this is one of those. All right, number one, going under the street. Who planned that? Yeah. Because that's a thing. You see, cars are heavy, and they need stuff to support them. And if it's not there, then <laughs> bloop. I'm going to show you the picture. When people say a sinkhole, look at this shit. The fucking hole in the goddamn. Um, Sinkholes freak me out, man. Just the fact that the entire ground can just one day go, you know what? Fuck yeah, it. Yeah, literally just like the ground can just open up and suck things in. And like, sometimes they're small and sometimes they're a fucking city block. Like, you and your whole life can just be swallowed up by the earth one day, and no one knows what happens to you. Well, Maybe you die. Maybe you get melted by liquid hot magma. Maybe you meet the doozers. No, you die, Tara. That's It's death. Well, we don't know. Yes, we do. It's it's death. There's Maybe not really a bunch of... Hell opera. and become a demon and get to poke people with pitchforks. Like, <laughs> the whole thing just freaks me out. I just love that they all they got like on the way to the bank and just like nah. They just fucked maybe it off. Changed, right, like maybe it used to be like a Wachovia and they had a personal grudge against like Baron von Wachovia, but once Chase bought it out, they were like, Well, man. Yeah, it just takes a little takes I got I got now. no I got no beef with Chase. I, I this is like this is like Logan Lucky only Bad. <laughs> I've not seen Logan Lucky. Oh, Adam Driver, you gotta see it. And what's his what's his fuck played James Bond? Daniel Craig. He's so He's funny. Like a redneck, right? He's so funny. Yeah, that's weird. He's Those commercials so, weirded me out. He's so fucking funny. Um, but yeah, this is like that. Only it's not funny, and it's kind of stupid. And they failed. They utterly failed. They completely failed. I mean, I guess if you realize your caper isn't going to work, it's better to give up on it before it fails spectacularly. I know, but they're still going to find you. I mean, maybe not. They don't have any idea. They got they got the generator. That fucker's got a serial number. Those things aren't quite that. They'll find your ass. It's the FBI. They're bored. <laughs> Are they? I feel like they have a lot to do these days, actually. <laughs> well, they've already got Roger Stone. Come on. Like, I think they're pretty busy. <sighs> we have more Florida stuff. And, okay, be honest. When you were in high school, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know why I was in high school. When I was in high school, I wanted to go see my girlfriend. I did a bunch of stupid shit to get around my parents. Did you not do this? No? Wow. I just asked my parents to drive me to my boyfriend's house. You have you had very understanding parents. No, I was a really boring square kid. <laughs> like even when I started dating a dude with a car, we usually went to church youth group and then Fridays. I wasn't interesting enough for them to worry about. Okay, well I guess this girl qualifies as interesting then. Because, holy shit. Florida girl, 14, makes like a Florida man. Teen stole delivery man's car for rendezvous with Paul. <laughs> Needing a ride to her boyfriend's house, a Florida girl yesterday ordered pizzas to a neighbor's house, then popped out of some nearby bushes and stole the car driven by a Papa John's delivery man. <laughs> I love the look on your face right now. As detailed in a police report, Josie Bigelow, 14, placed the phony food order early Wednesday to lure the victim to a street near her home. 
As the driver walked to the front door of the residence with pizza in hand, Bigelow emerged from some nearby woods and hopped into the 49-year-old delivery man's unlocked 2006 Ford Taurus. Bigelow was subsequently arrested about six miles from the high scene, where investigators say she sought to ditch the hot wheels in a stranger's driveway. Before getting collared, the girl twice escaped for a pursuing sheriff's deputy. In a 2006 Taurus. Girl, the teenager seen above was arrested 3.15 a.m. for Grand Theft Auto, booked into the local juvenile detention center. In an interview with a local TV station, Bigelow's father said the juvenile, quote, needs an ass whooping, that and jail. You know, maybe I I, I kind of understand her trying to steal a car to get away from those parents. Yeah. She has, this, that is some, I, I gotta hand it to her, that is some, that is some cunning shit. Like, you took the sending a pizza to somebody prank to the next one. <laughs> God damn! Because you not over fucked over those people that had to pay for a pizza they didn't order. You fucked over the driver. Yeah! But you gotta admit, she's gonna she's gonna do great things. Maybe not legal things, but she's gonna do great things in her life. By Florida standards, perhaps. Yeah. Cause that's no. some that's some cunning shit. Ain't no dick worth Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> That's that's a t-shirt there, Tara. That's a t-shirt. True, though. Ain't no dick worth Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> now you got a record? He was probably cheating on you anyway. You're 14. Oh, but my God. This kid... I'm just... I'm impressed. I'm impressed by this kid. That is, that is some planning? That concerns me. Why? Because that's not a good thing to do look our bar has gotten so low at this point she used planning she was intelligent had forethought she executed it she she she's got some life skills is what i'm saying tara i mean she did outrun the cops in a 2006 taurus exactly i mean by our current 2019 standards She's, th that's impressive. She's going to do well in the wasteland to follow. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> She's going to be a great Furiosa someday. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see what else. Okay, last week we had the guy finding a grenade in a lake and calling the cops about it, but not before he went to the Taco Bell. You don't want to deal with a live grenade on an empty stomach, man. Well, it's funny you should say that. World War I grenade among potatoes at Hong Kong Crisp Factory. They didn't deep fry it, did they? A World War One era hand grenade had been found among the delivery of potatoes shipped from France to a crisp hot factory in Hong Kong. The muddy device, which was three inches wide, was, quote, in an unstable condition because it had been discharged but had failed to detonate. So that meant it was active. It could, it was it could legit go ba-boom at any point. Anytime. It's the fucking sea mine from Hot Fuzz. Like, here's where I'm at, Just a lot of junk. He says it's just a lot of junk. Um, <laughs> it was discovered at the uh, Calvi Crisp Making Factory in Eastern Sai Kung District. Oh, on the Saturday next morning. sentence. This is this is exceptional. I want you all to see this. This is why the BBC has the reputation it does. The bomb de terre. If you don't speak French, you don't understand. If you do, you're like going, oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> was safely detonated on site by bomb disposal officers. Who the fu 
fuck in France cannot tell a potato from a hand grenade? <laughs> I mean, an uncooked potato is pretty hard. Does that look like a potato to you? Honestly, kinda. Not even it's kinda. Too, it's too perfectly round, if we're being honest. That's the biggest thing, is it's too perfectly round. It's dead. She, someone is, they're out in the fucking fields, they're picking potatoes, she's like, what's this? Oh, it was, it'll add weight to the pile. Fuck it. Fuck it. I do feel like if you put a potato in one hand and a grenade in the other, I would be able to tell the difference between the two. <laughs> But then again, I'm of Irish descent and therefore a potato connoisseur. So I don't know that everybody can say that. I do want to point out, they say it was safely detonated, which means they were able to get it to blow up. Which, judging from how fucking rusty it is. That's scary. It probably, everybody in that city has botulism now. Everybody. I don't think it works that way, but... It's fucking airborne botulism. <laughs> I just, just... I just... I'm just imagining some guy in France at the farm going, eh, why not? I'm picturing the poor person in China that opened the... that's sorting potatoes for potato chips and is like... That's not something you expect to happen at your job. That's just not so... Whatever job you, you do... <clears throat> I don't want this. What's the protocol for random hand grenade at your office place? I don't know. I've worked retail. I've worked offices. I've worked all. I've worked on-site repair. I there is no hand grenade protocol. Yeah, I don't think I've ever worked somewhere with hand grenade protocol. That I saw all those those videos where they told you what to do in case all that. None of them was like so. You found a hand grenade. No, none Are of those. Are you really going to correct me on how botulism works? <laughs> really? I think next week's episode, let, you know, a couple weeks ago we opened with how to find bad journalism. Next week I think we need to explain jokes. <laughs> oh. Actually, it's tetanus. This next one is Jesus Christ. Ah, this the next one is Jesus Christ. It might as well be. This is um, this is from uh, San Jose. You th you would think that a pharmacy technician or a pharmacist at a store would have to go through a rigorous background check and all sorts of you know ways to screen out unqualified people from working in a pharmacy, correct? You'd like to think, but you, it is at the end of the day a retail job. You would be yeah, you would be wrong. A uh, woman poses at Walmart as Walmart pharmacist for years, hands out 750,000 prescriptions. Bay Area woman. So honestly, it's more important that they find somebody willing to work for $10 an hour. Mm -hmm been actually qualified. Bay Area woman is accused of posing as a pharmacist and handing out nearly a million prescriptions before she was caught. According to the Board of Pharmacy, Kim Tyne Lee uh, told them she'd attended Creighton University, but records revealed she'd never graduated. That's one of those things you're supposed to check when you hire somebody. Yeah. When the board asked Lee for her pharmacy uh, license number, they said they discovered Lee used the license number of two pharmacists with similar names. Also a thing you need to check. Um, this is the gall on this lady. I gotta admire this. During questioning, Lee told the board, quote, Me and my son would be very grateful if you could just forget about this. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. You almost certainly distributed some controlled substances. Mm -hmm. And so that's a felony. Probably federal. Mm -hmm. They're, they're not going to be like, you know what? You were on time. You never called out sick. Okay. You, you can't get... get the, wait, see, here's what happens. If you don't have a license and you take the drugs, 
and you hand them to someone and they give you money you're, you're drug selling dealer. drugs yeah we we kind of frown on that in america right or wrongly we're not a big fan of when you sell drugs yeah there are rules Oh, and Lee is the only one in, in trouble. The board is looking at revoking Walgreens pharmacy license at the stores where Lee worked. Walgreens couldn't tell the board if they'd requested or reviewed Lee's pharmacist license and couldn't furnish her employment application during the agency's investigation. Yeah, they should be <clears throat> kind of fucked, too. This pisses me off for a specific reason. Have you gone through, of course you have, anyone who has gone through a hiring process, yeah. you have to fill out a fuckload of obnoxious paperwork. And these days it's even worse. You have to uh, turn in your resume and then essentially do an online form that is your resume in a different form. typing out your resume. I've... Dan and I have had this conversation because he works in that field and I yell, about, yell at him about it a lot. But by the way, I can tell you, every employer out there hates those fucking things. They hate using them. So, Nothing better exists. I mean, I had to get insane. I had to get drug tested to sell makeup. And what is so fucking galling about all that shit? That all the hoops you have to jump through is they aren't even taking keeping track of it. They are looking into your background. I could have gone in there and said, "Yes, I am descended from royalty. I am an earl." You don't know any different. Could I flip hamburgers, please? You don't fucking know! Which are, oh, which Earl are you? Steve? <laughs> 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 I was just... its it, That just pisses me off. They couldn't be bothered to keep their own shit. The fucking shit you have to go through to get a job, and they couldn't be... Yeah. Oh, you assholes! I've had background checks. I've had them run my credit for like a shitty retail job. Yeah, but to hand they out, want your Facebook um, profile and shit yeah. now. But, but to hand out medication, apparently, uh, you seem nice. We got more Florida. This is from Pensacola, and this is I can think of better ways to have fun. That, that's where this one qualifies as. Police! Man drove through Florida airport fence onto runway! Oh! Police say a man drove through a Florida airport fence and onto an active runway. In Pensacola News Journal report, police say 20-year-old Zane Alexander Carlson was arrested Wednesday. Zane Alexander. I've, I've got it. I'm sorry. You keep saying you're asking for this. Yeah. Um... Police uh, spokesman White Mike Wood said Carlson drove through the fence onto an active runway and then into a grassy area where he did donuts in his car. Police say girls, Carlson then drove into an open hangar where he continued to drive in circles until officers arrived. Okay. Like, you're an idiot when you're 20. I'm not and that big. There's, there's going to be people in the audience that are pissed about me saying that. 20 years from now, you will understand Yeah. You that will. right now, you're a fucking mm. idiot. It's not your fault. You can't help it. I was a fucking idiot when I was 20. Everyone. Nash was a fucking idiot when he was 20. I'm Dan still was a, a fucking, fucking idiot, idiot when he was 20. You can't help it. Yeah. It's just the cycle of life. Like, you're a fucking idiot right now, and it's not your fault, and you will outgrow it and become a whole different type of fucking idiot. And yet, though I was a fucking idiot, I wasn't this kind of fucking idiot. No! No. This is, there's like a normal level of fucking idiot, and then there's, you know, championship belt yeah. fucking idiot. Yeah. This, this is like Macho Man Randy Savage fucking idiot. I just... Just uh, okay. It wasn't because he was trying. It doesn't say there was any. Uh, police do not know what motivated Carlson to drive through the airport fence. So he wasn't being pursued. He wasn't trying to steal something. 
He just wanted to drive in there and do donuts. Let me tell you something. Christ's sake, I bet you could find an open area to do donuts in. I promise you there's a mall near you with one section of the parking lot that is never full. Mm -hmm. Unless it's December. Because every mall has the overflow lots that nobody's in unless it's December. And you know what those lots don't have? The TSA. Yeah, well, not even just that. We are all... Welcome to post 9-11. We are all so hyped up about this shit. People You're, don't fuck around in the airport, man. You are lucky someone did not shoot you. Yeah. People are, don't fuck around in the airport. Eh. But the, why, why would you do just, and then in the, in the hangar? Like, are you that bored? Really? I mean, my God, you've got so many things you could be doing to not be bored. You're stuck in Florida, you have 72 theme parks and probably 150 naked people on any <laughs> given day. You throw a rock, it's either landing on Mickey Mouse or someone's bare boob. Right. It's all just naked people on golf carts and cartoon characters down there. It's a wonderful place, Florida. Wonderful Figure place. something out. All right. This final story, and we got video. Holy shit. This is the one. Prepare yourself. This is this sweet Jesus. Um, I've got to get the video queued up and make sure it's ready to go. Because you're not going to... Even on the MP3 version this week, it's just, it's not going to sink in without the video, because the video is what sells it. Um, here you go. I'll let that... This happened in China. Um... A lot of people that only listen to the MP3. Some, yeah. Huh. Alright, right there. Whoa! <gasps> I know! I want to stress here. No one was hurt. All right, there's a kid with fireworks. He <laughs> drops a, a sparkler down, right down a manhole. I told you. Wow, yeah, that's a dumb thing to do. Right down the manhole. Boom! Big bada boom. Wow. Again. Look at the, just the circle of murdered bricks. Oh, it looks like when Dean Winchester got pulled out of hell. <laughs> no one was hurt. Fuck, there's the video over. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Somehow no one was hurt in that. Uh, yeah, what happened was... And this poor dude's pulling bricks off his car. <laughs> he's, he's lucky that's all he's pulling off his car. Not like pieces of child brains. Yeah. <laughs> A boy in China was lucky to escape with his life after playing with fireworks and triggering an explosion that ripped the sidewalk apart. Uh, footage from the scene in Xifeng City in Inner Mongolia showed the boy either dropping one of the fireworks into a manhole or allowing the sparks to fall in. That ignited the methane gas trapped inside, causing the sidewalk to erupt. No one was injured, not even the boy, who could be heard afterward telling his mother that he was scared. Yeah, what, your mother was there? <laughs> that's the that's the kicker. And and it didn't occur to your mother to be like, get the fuck away. <laughs> mom. You gotta watch talk, your mom. kids. We need to talk, mom. Kids are like they 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 have two kids levels. Are fast and insane. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Children are tiny little crazy people <laughs> with, like, the flash levels of speed. At any given moment, they can be doing anything, something perfectly innocuous, like singing to the flowers on your front lawn, and then the next minute you turn, you look back, they've got and a somehow, rabid... Yeah, somehow they've produced a blowtorch. They've got a rabid raccoon under their shirt. They're... They're on the roof of the building waving yeah. to Jesus. You don't know. Like Fucking kids do that shit. You you really can't look away from them. I just you you've gotta watch your damn kids. Oh, what are you guys doing? 
they're being weird. Well, Peggy came in, so Simba had to wake up because he loves her. Can you even see them? I, I see Simba. Well, watching the kitties now. Show called on account of kitties. <laughs> what are we doing, you guys? We're just going to stare at each other? <laughs> Sometimes they have little slap fights. Not like like they play. Uh-huh. But like one of them is on one level of the tower and the other one's down lower and they're like... So you gotta watch your fucking children. Yeah. Oh, I, this? I'm just... I am amazed no one would that the kid is fine. That's thank that's just, God. What? Oh yeah, thank, thank God. God. If the kid wasn't fine, it wouldn't be on my show. I'm just Bless you. I gotta you see that exp- I gotta see that one more time. Cause damn. Like hopefully that's a lesson you only learn once. <laughs> <laughs> don't just don't stick fire down the fucking manhole. Kids do dumb shit. <laughs> Boom! That is... My parents didn't give me flammable shit as a child. <laughs> Midnight Storm says the sidewalk exploded. How is everyone all right? I know. <laughs> this... There should be bits of people everywhere, and yet. Did you do this as a child? Did you blow shit up? Oh yeah. Yeah. There's a whole lot of Star Wars action figures that are melted pieces, and I, like, I don't know why I even I, yep. I don't know why I even bothered to ask. Testify. Um, <clears throat> my dad was a fireman. See, that's why you were boring. So, like, we didn't fuck with that shit. Also, my mom was really paranoid. Like, we weren't allowed to have Tic Tacs because they were a choking hazard, and you know. The first thing we've learned this week is watch your damn kid. Twirl fire. Oh, I was like in college by the time I was twirling fire. First thing we learned this week is you got to watch your damn kids. You got to watch your fucking because like what? Especially minute? if you have given them fire. Don't. Yeah. Don't, don't be like here. Have some fire. Go play. We'll. I'll go, see you later. Play with your fire, sweetheart. Don't. Um. We've learned that there are better things to do than donuts on an active runway. There's gotta be. Like, there's just gotta be. There's There's no way your life is that boring. I know, man. Like, build a toy, a model car or some shit. I don't know. I can hear the cats chasing each other up and down the hallway now. (laughs) Get up, get up, get up. Jingle, jingle, jingle. We've learned that no matter what you put on your fucking resume, no one's gonna check that shit. Fuck it. Whatever you want on there. I used to be the president of Germania. Okay, Is that sure. A country? Who knows? You're not going to Google it. <laughs> you... I am the Duchess of Latveria. Um, we've learned that uh, most most jobs don't have a hand, a hand grenade contingency plan. So that's. It, it just, not something you expect to counter on the line at the potato chip factory. Nope. That's that's not a thing you needed to uh yeah. Um we've learned that that's damn teenagers can get crafty in Florida. Yeah. I'm really impressed by I I got to say I'm impressed by her. It wasn't a great thing to do, but the execution She's not stupid. She kind of is. <laughs> she committed a felony just to see her stupid fucking boyfriend. Well, yeah, but she executed the plan properly, at least. If she had executed the plan properly, she, she wouldn't be in juvie caught. right now. She did evade. She evaded the police, like you said. Yeah, 2006 for Taurus. Come on. That's a mob mobile. I'm just saying. Let's let's not encourage them. And finally, we've learned, you know, there there are some jobs you can just, you know, nah, projects you can abandon. Um, your bank robber tunnel isn't one of them. You should probably fill it back in. Should probably, or just make a cursory attempt to conceal that shit. Don't leave some, a, 
a fucking generator at the entrance. Like, yeah, yeah no one's gonna bother. Take your that. gear home. Yeah, I know, right? If no, I don't want to haul it home tonight. I'm gonna leave it here. Fuck it. So, if you're gonna try and steal my money, at least make a fucking effort. <laughs> at least try. You know, we just want to feel like you tried. It's fucking socialism is what it we're is. Not, we're not mad. We're just disappointed. <laughs> 